Hello guys, Danny here at Partey. So, we've been very, very stir-crazy over here in Partey land, <clears throat> but it's been a, an extremely happy stir-crazy. Uh, so, what I'm going to show you, we uh, the other day I showed you just one of our pieces of material. Uh, I'm going to show you a few others that we've created here. I've got about three more prototypes that I have to create, uh, and then we're going to start our casting. Uh, but I just want to talk about what we have here. So, if you can look, this is a piece of standard common PVC. This is a 12 mil piece that uh, we... Uh, procured. I got this at Walmart, I believe, if I remember correctly, either there or Joann's. Uh, but in either case, this is a piece of material that usually is used to protect furniture. Uh, if you ever had grandparents that had this kind of stuff over their sofa, uh, so that's what that is, right? Well, so it's a piece of PVC. It's not even a, a, the highest quality PVC, but the reason that it's relevant here is because of its thickness. It's a very lightweight, durable fabric, right, or, or piece of plastic. <clears throat> but it's not necessarily the best to try to create screens off of. Two reasons, really. One is because it's too polished. So no matter what you coat it with, it may stick for a while, but eventually if it ever gets a crease or ever gets uh, any high humidity, uh, you'll start to see separation. So not the best. As a matter of fact, I would highly suggest that you never try to coat this on anything that you want long term. Uh, the second thing is, is that it does get warbles over the course of time, right? It will start to get warbles through humidity and heat and things like that, right? And you say, well, wait a minute, wouldn't heat flatten it out? It does if you take it and lay it out on a flat surface and the heat from underneath and the top will start to flatten it out. But if you were to take this and stretch it, um, it may flatten it back out, but it's still going to be distorted from the stretch. It has no memory. It's not going to pull it back in. There's where parte screens come in. So this is essentially our own cast PVC. You can see now we have a process where we use where we bathe a, a piece of polyester in an accelerant and then it's bonded front and back uh, with our PVC material uh, which is colorized uh, using you know our proprietary tones um, and our mixtures which the mixtures are set to perform um, and we have right before us we have uh, this is the ALF series, so we have the Daystar and we have the Vega here. Now, the Sirius is here, but it's right over there. I'll show you that in just a second. This is exciting because we get many exciting things now. Uh, we had had to reserve uh, the, um, the Diamante to strictly being a uh, you know a custom type screen just because of the complexity in creating the Diamante. Now what makes Diamante special over ALF? Well this uses reflective solids so we have our own proprietary blend of reflective solids that we use in this uh, we actually customize those we actually grind some of the metallics um, down and it's mixed with a hybrid mica and some other things including a, a, a liquid reflective uh, but but the reflective solids in this, um, you know, are basically make a single stage, and that's the Gopity Goop formula that we sell out there. Diamante, on the other hand, has zero reflective solids. Okay, nowhere in this material is a reflective solid. Everything in here is liquid, um, and so that allows us to do a lot of things that you can't do. Reflective solids will always add coloration to your screens. Um, so you can tell here, this is the Daystar, and you can see there's a color difference between the two, but it's exactly the same tone that's used in the materials, uh, but the reflective solids change the color of the material. Um, so this is uh, a seven-layer system, five components. Two of the components uh, actually get put on here twice. Uh, so it's a seven-layer system. This is the Diamante uh, Daystar. This is the Diamante Black. And as you can see, this is not a somewhat black or close to black. It is black. Okay, this is very, 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 very black. Um, so those are the ones that we have. What I don't have created right now is the Vega in the Daystar, or Vega in the Diamante. So I'm going to be working on that. Uh, here in just a few and uh, I've also got the two USTs the Daystar and the Vega and the UST that I haven't created yet uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm using uh, my phone just upgraded so I've got a 
I haven't figured out exactly yet how to stop it. When it gets to five minutes, it wants to shut off, and I just have to re hit restart. So we're probably going to see that a couple of times in here. Uh, so apologies for that. This is the series, okay, in the ALF series. And I've got it folded up. I folded this up about 1030 this morning and put it underneath the little Yahtzee box there just so we could get some cramps and some folds and things like that in it. So you can see plenty of that right all right this is the same piece that i crumbled up the other day guys <laughs> so you're going to be able to see exactly how well this i got to find us a little bit of sun out here so i'm just going to take that we're just going to set it down there and i will be back um get us back inside and i'm going to show you now i coated my screen um real quick i'll show you too probably just make out I set up a little clean room down there with a flip table uh, flip tables are our own design it's something we created that allows us to flip the screen any direction up or down uh, for spraying so that that comes in really handy but I use the flip table for the casting now now what I want to do is show you because I coated my own personal screen here with the uh, with the uh, Diamante Daystar. There we go. And I've got, so you can see, I've got lights on in here. We got a little bit of daylight coming through. You can see my reflections here. But I just want to show you on even such a light screen, just how much contrast these screens will hold. Now, this is front face facing light, so it's just going to be what it is. I mean, even ALR structures don't help a lot against front facing light, guys. You can have windows on the side, lamps on the side, but when you put it in the front, that's what you'll see. Now, if I take that out, you can still see a little bit of the light coming from behind me that's front facing. But more importantly, you can see using a projector with a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio, what I get. Now, I'm going to pause this here because I've got something I want to show you here real quick. I want to get in here so you can see the pixelation in there and just how clean. Now, I've got some little bumps in here. That's because I sprayed it outside. Still got a couple of bugs that wanted to land on there, little gnats and stuff like that. So I had to, to try to clean as much of that off as I could. But from our clean room, you would never see anything like that. And I'll show you, prove that out, show you in just a second a piece that was sprayed in our clean room. This was just done outside, but you can see just how clean the pixelation is on this screen. Just a thing of beauty, honestly. And for it to be such a light screen and hold that level of contrast, and that's just because of the way that it's created. Okay, it's created to do that, to look darker than what it is. All right, so we're going to go in here real quick. And you'll have to forgive, we got a, some furniture delivered this morning. I haven't had a chance to get it put in place. So this is an example of the screen that's actually cast and sprayed so you can see just how clean the surface is okay. all right all right so we'll go back in here real quick now one of the reasons we've been so furious is just creating the prototypes. So that's that's one part. Uh, but the other is that we, we're filing three patents. One for the core formula, one for the delivery system for the ALF, and one for the delivery system for the Diamante because it's a total different creation, okay? Different layers, it's an optical screen. This is an optical screen, but this is a much higher level optical screen than our ALF series. So we want to make sure that we had time to get those formed, uh, to get all the, the material and the information. We had to go through and make sure that we had these refined because once we file, if we make a change, then that's a whole new request, right? So uh, we should have those patent numbers, at least the pending numbers, available within the next week or so uh, from my council. Uh, we'll have all of that. We'll be able to show you guys because I want to be very transparent. 
what we're working on, right? I want you to see uh, just how serious we are and just how wonderful these screens are going to be. Highly flexible, can be pulled over, uh, easily pulled over a fixed frame uh, mounted. They can be sewn with pockets for tension rods. Uh, for existing screens, so if you have a cheap existing screen, but you have a nice aluminum fixed frame that you'd like to keep, uh, very easy to have pockets sewn on these to the same size of your current screen, and then use your tension rods just as you would use now. Uh, on top of that, you know, uh, you could use it as a wall screen, just a, a wall screen itself. Uh, Looking at these pieces, you'll notice that on the ends here, they curl a little bit. Well, that's because we cut them before they were fully cured. Once these are fully cured, they would lay flat. And we'll prove that out. We'll show that to you as well. This was actually kind of a hurried situation. I wanted to build the prototype so that we could submit prototypes um, uh, along with uh, our patent information so that we have the, the, the detail, uh, also the molecular structure of the polymers that we had to switch to because we had to change out uh, one of our polymers for two uh, new polymers, uh, which are actually going to they facilitate what we need them to for these screens. So extremely exciting stuff. Uh, very important. I want to make it known that we're going to be closing as of today the orders for the for screens are actually put on hold now. Now we'll continue with the Gopity Goop because the formula has been updated for that. So any of the new Gopity Goop that you would order would be the new formula that you're looking at here uh, that we use to cast these. Uh, it would be in a roll version or a spray version, however you know you choose. Uh, but for as far as screens, what I don't want to do is start selling screens, right? And somebody be upset because we come out with a new product just, you know, 20, 15, 30 days later uh, and they would have rather have had the new product so uh, rather than have any confusion we're just going to shut it down we'll have a, a header up at the top that explains why and then we're going to start taking pre-orders on these screens October 1st let's go out and check our other piece of screen material and see where we are so there's the Sirius and you can see Already, in just a few minutes we've been outside, there's just a couple of couple of signatures there that show you that it may have once been folded. <laughs> so that's it. So that's the beauty of these screens, is that they can go through a lot of abuse um, and still be able to take it and perform in a manner in which we would expect them to perform. It's a quality product, guys. Uh, I'm more excited than I can even relay. I, I don't know who's more excited, me or my wife. She was extraordinarily excited whenever we put this together. Uh, she's ready to go ahead and build a facility here on site <laughs> so that we can do, just do everything here close to the house rather than having to go to the clean room, which we share with another business. Um, so, uh, we're, we're not at that point yet, and I'm not willing to take up that much of a bite, but it looks like that's where we're probably going to be heading within the next year. So, uh, once again, we told you we'd have some new exciting stuff coming out this year. I really didn't plan for this. This was a bit of a surprise, but we listened to the feedback from our installers. We listened to the feedback from some of our customers, and through the grace of God, we're able to create a much more superior product called ProFlex, and that's going to be what these are going to be titled as we move forward, Parte ProFlex. Uh, so exciting times, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, give you some things to think about here. You guys take care. If you have any questions, reach out to us as always at Parte AV, and we'll be glad to answer any questions. You guys have a great weekend. Bye.